Hey guys, it's me Charlie. So I wanted to do a video on my ram's horn snails. Let me take out this bubbler. On the bottom here, um, you'll notice I have a cuddle bone. Let me see if I can grab that. And the reason why I have a cuddle bone is because cuddle bone is calcium and the snails are going to be eating it. So the reason why it's important for the snails to have calcium in here, you can put oyster shell, you could have some eggs in the morning and clean out the eggshells, uh, maybe toast them in the oven for 15 minutes in 200 degrees. And then whenever you need to use your oyster shells, just go ahead and throw them, or your chicken shells, go ahead and just throw them in there. Here's one, this is a chicken, there's probably a couple, oh yeah, I could feel some in there, gross. Ew. Look at that, they're just eating the inside and there's another little egg inside. And the reason why it's important for you to have shells like this is because these little guys don't have a source of calcium in your fish tank. So they're, they're going to need it because if not, when you go to grab one of these guys, they're going to explode on you. And that's because they're very brittle and you don't want that to happen. I don't know if you guys can see that. Do you guys see all of those brown spots on the side of the bucket? Do you know what that is? That's hundreds and hundreds of, let me see if I can get a video, of um, eggs. All of those brown spots all the way around. All of those, those are all eggs. And these guys breed nonstop. They just breed and breed and breed and it's so annoying I can't get them to stop mainly the reason why these guys breed like crazy is because if there's a lot of food they have a source they have a reason why to have babies and um, some of these guys will float on top like there's three of them together here they're probably mating and they're actually really small um, they're the size of an M&M and I do have a really big one in here somewhere. It's the main mother. Oh, here she is way at the bottom. I have to be careful with her because I'm not sure how brittle she is. There we go. And she's big. She's the size of my thumb. It's one of the original ones that I, I had. She's even got some algae growing on her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these guys some spinach. They love to eat vegetation, so you don't want to put these guys in a fish tank that has um, plants because they'll be gone. And in my fish tank here, I still have some babies that I have to pull out. Sometimes I get to the point where I just can't handle it and I just smash them. They're really small and I hate to smash them, but they're protein for the fish and the baby fish that are in here. And see how what they're doing to the plants, they're eating them up. And these guys, I just have them in a bucket a regular bucket and you should buy a, a small filter with a sponge and put it in here that way you can keep it clear, crystal clear clean and um, this will help keep them healthy but right now I just have a bubbler in there um, I, I every once in a while put a filter in there so if you guys are planning on keeping ram horn snails make sure that you have them in a tank with plastic plants if you want landscape um, wood, put in some calcium of some sort in there like oyster shell. You could even put in a cuddle bone right in the corner and, and try to grow something on it, some kind of a plant or hide it behind something or you know do something interesting with the cuddle bone because they'll eat it. This is actually a piece of cuddle bone that was useless. It was dirty and disgusting inside one of my bird cages and I just cleaned it in water and I, after I couldn't get all the stuff off, I threw it in here. And these guys ate it. They ate all the yucky stuff that was on there and the bird poop and all that. Because these guys are scavengers. They'll eat everything. And they ate it up. And you can see some still on there. And um, they, they got it nice and white again. So, all right. Well, I'm not sure what else you guys want to know about ram horn snails. Um, if you Google ram horn snails, um, you'll get a lot of good information on them, on how to keep them, their size water temperature. A lot of people use them to feed turtles and they're a good source of protein and calcium and pufferfish. 
Sometimes small um, little ram horn snails are good for oxalotls to eat if the oxalotls want them because they do have a light, light shell. That's why you need to give them calcium. When you don't, they're easily smashed. Like if you go to grab one real fast, you could smash its, its, its shell and um, the thing will die. But um, they are fantastic cleaners. If you have a fish tank that has no live plants in there and it's a mess, just get a couple of these, get some small ones, a bunch of them, or maybe a couple of big ones, and put them in there, and they'll breed. Within three months, you'll have about 500 babies, as you can see on the side of the bucket, all those. These take nine days to hatch, so a lot of these are about to hatch, and already there's a few I can see from here that are already hatched, but they will hatch after nine days, and these guys breed nonstop, so you'll have a good supply of them. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. still eating that potato.